waiting for this for quite a while, so I'm going to make it today. Uh, cabbage and sausage, and onions and things like that, and a crock pot for dinner tonight. Well, I've got everything together that I'm going to need to make this. I've got the cabbage, big head of cabbage there, uh, onion, smoked beef sausage, bay leaves, and chicken stock. Uh, there'll be salt and pepper and a few other things like that go in, but this is the main thing you need. And by the way, cabbage was 49 cents a pound, and it's the cheapest thing in the world you can buy, and it makes a heck of a good meal. This will be a southern style. I don't know if there's an northern style or what, but this is going to be a Texas cabbage. Well, I've got the onions and the sausage in the crock pot getting started on it, and next will come the cabbage, and I'm going to put some peas and carrots in there, and I don't know yet what all I'll put in it, but I guarantee it'll be good. Well, I've got enough cut cabbage to fill the crock pot full, and uh, now all it needs is the salt and pepper. And the clock is telling me that it's 2.44, so that's about the right time to put it on for dinner tonight. Okay, I got the black pepper and garlic on there. So now, pour in the chicken stock. You can either use canned or make your own. And want to put in enough to where it just starts coming up there to where you can see it around the edges. That's still not enough. There it is. Well, there's not enough left to keep, so let's call it one box of chicken stock. Okay, there it is in the crock pot with the lid on. Turn it up to high. And we're going to need to leave it about oh, two and a half, three hours. <laughs> 